Hi, thanks for joining me on Wilderness with Monty. This week, I'm going to be doing a couple days of river fishing. I'm going to fish the West Walker River today for my YouTube channel. And I'm probably going to go see what's going on with the East Carson River tomorrow for Wilderness with Monty Patreon. Today is a rare Monday. I'm not completely exhausted. <laughs> I had a cool manager working yesterday at my supervisor, and they decided to get me out of there in five hours instead of my usual 12-hour shift. So I got to go home, watch football for the first time this year, and it was an awesome day, and I'm well-rested. I came out a little bit late because it's cold in this river canyon where the West Walker comes down. I'm fishing in the 395 Canyon, and it's artificial. I'm fishing artificial single hook barbless catch and release as I usually do. And I'm starting out with this Roadrunner crappie jig, and uh, this is what I was using, was, had been using in the uh, Truckee a lot because this is the jig I have the most of right now. So I use whatever I got and I try to make it work. The river is flowing pretty good right now. And it looks really good. And I got my fly rod in the car. I got some streamers and some nymphs. But, you know, when the water's rushing like this and I'm fishing a river where I know there's big fish, I like to fish jigs. That's just what I like to do. Who knows where the day is going to lead? It's about nine. I can see there's ice on the river on a lot of the edges. And if you look at one of my other West Walker River clips where I slid down the rock through the ice to land the big trout, it's on my river's playlist. That was a day where I got here at the crack of dawn and the wind was sweeping down the canyon and it was so cold, I went back into my car and went to sleep for two hours. So today, I just slept in a bit. I didn't get up until 5.45, got here at nine. Now we're gonna fish. I'm gonna be targeting the canyons. We're at canyons up more, cause there's a lot of good deep holes and there's generally a little less fishing pressure in those canyons, cause it's a pain to climb around the rocks. But I'm looking good. Today, I finally patched my waders I don't know if that patch is gonna work. This river's running really good. And it's uh, it's just when you're in the canyons, it can be difficult to sneak up on these pools just because you're coming in at such a high angle. And that can make it hard to sneak up effectively. And I can already tell this is gonna be a day where I gotta hit my mark. And then, and I hit it right where I needed to right there. There just wasn't any fish in that spot. <laughs> or I already spooked the pool. I do a lot of spooking of pools in this creek because I try to get in a good position to cast. And a lot of times to get in a good position to hit the water you wanna hit, you're gonna spook some stuff. The ice that's on the water like that isn't of a concern. It's the stuff that's out in the middle and there's a fine sheen of ice on those rocks. That stuff, you are going in. <laughs> if you go to that. <laughs> I mean, there's no question about it, but this water's moving good and it's a little bit of a challenge to get it through the zones I wanted to but as long as I can cast it straight and get it through there it should be good accuracy is just the key here you just got to be accurate man I got ice all over these rocks though I do not want to fall in the water down here got him there it is it's a nice brown I don't get a lot of browns in the West Walker there he goes Back out into that freezing cold water. As you can see, there's just ice everywhere. And I'm getting snagged on the ice that's on the boulders. That's my biggest thing. And it's nice with these big 
barbless jigs, the hook just falls right out of their mouth. As soon as there's no pressure, that fish comes right off the hook. That's why when the fish jump, I freak out. So for this fish, I broke my usual rule and I'm standing right above the pool because I wanted to have my jig have a little bit more residency time and that fish came out of that deep water. And what I did is I just pitch cast it out, let it go deep, and then I'm just, cause you know there's fish in there. And he came out and just nailed it. I saw him, this water's remarkably clear, but that's what I did. Usually I'll cast him downstream and I did, I made like four casts and didn't get anything. It's a lot safer just to walk through this kind of ice than it is to try to go across the boulders that are just above the water. You've all seen me use this scam before <laughs> where I sneak up behind a rock. And there's ice all over this thing, so I gotta be careful. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this as my barrier so I can get in here without them seeing me. And then I'm gonna try to run my jig right along this rock. Ah, and I'm getting caught on the ice, left and right on the fringe of these boulders. There's just like a, like a rim of ice. I just, Jumped in my car and drove down a little ways. I don't even know what the river looks like down here. So far, so good on my sketchy patch job, but there's a lot of ice in the river, so I'm watching out for these slippery boulders. I wanna get, there's some nice water behind those big boulders right there. So I wanna, so I circled around wide, and I'm gonna climb out on that rock and see if I can't get a good cast in. I got one to come out and grab my stuff, but I got to get them around here because there's ice everywhere. I'm just going to try to hoist him and scoop him. Oh, got him. Let's get him over here to the water. If I could take a look at him. Here's this rainbow. Nothing huge, but he was down there. See, there's like really deep water here. And what I did is I cast it into the fast water, swam it out, and then I'm just barely dancing it along the bottom. And that fish picked it up right off the bottom. And the fish aren't super aggressive right now. So I'm really putting it in their face and I'm leaving it there. <laughs> and for a change, my casting has just been spot on today. There's no wind and I'm dropping it right where I want it almost every time. But if you can get it through these deep boulders and these holes, sometimes those big fish will come out. There's a rock slide. Man, I'm glad I'm not on that side of the river. There's softball sized rocks just barreling down. That's pretty cool. I just had one come off. I found this good water that's deep and I had cover and I had one come right up and nail it and he got off. He wasn't very big though. This is a good West Walker rainbow. All right. Uh, it's another brown. It's another brown. That's a nice one. Got him. There he is in the net. That's a good sized fish. There he is. That's a nice brown right there. That's a West Walker River brown. Let's get him back in. Woo, there he goes. I got through the day with one jig. 
but I was getting snagged on the ice around the rim of the boulders. And I, it's a good thing I edit to be family friendly because I was dropping some balls. <laughs> and, ah! Ah! But that's cool. Before today, I had only caught one little brown trout in the West Walker. And I got two nice ones today. And it's still early, but I gotta go home and figure out where I'm gonna fish tomorrow. Might fish the Truckee for my Patreon. Uh, maybe the East Carson. I'm really not sure. I'll figure that out when I get home. But uh, that was fun. It's just really hard not to spook fish, the bigger fish in this river. And when I would get to a spot where I had some kind of cover, like a big boulder, a lot of times I get snagged on that ice and man, I would get so mad because I know I don't have a lot of good opportunities to uh, hit some fish, but I'm probably going to come back in a couple weeks and fish downstream and uh, see what it's like down there. You know, it's a two hour drive, but it's not that bad for a day drive. Thank you for joining me for Wilderness with Amani. Hope you enjoyed the West Walker River today. Until next time.